This is question number 17 of J Main 2016 Physics Series Code E. I've skipped question number 16 because it's too easy. Let's look at the question. An arc lamp requires a direct current of 10 amperes at 80 volts to function. If it is connected to 220 volts RMS 50 hertz AC supply, the series inductor needed for it to work is close to. Now let's understand what an arc lamp is. An arc lamp is just two rods two carbon rods separated by a small distance and when current passes through it it produces a spark which illuminates the surroundings that's what an arc lamp is right so now the question says that 80 volts DC supply was originally connected and the current was 10 amperes for it to work right so now they've decided to change it now they want to connect 220 volts RMS AC supply and they have introduced an indu inductor the role of inductor is to limit the current passing through the device the device draws current and inductor will limit the current going through the device right and that's not really the symbol for a bulb it's something like this right but whatever be the symbol of our current um, let's see what the question has so the inductor limits the current an inductor can be used for many different purposes but uh, here in the question is clear that since the voltage is increasing from 80 to 220 we will need the device to limit the current otherwise the device will be damaged so that's the role of inductor and this is the original setup so if we want to find the resistance of the circuit we can use the ohm's law v is equal to ir r is equal to v over i v is given as 80 volts I is given as 10 amps so resistance will be 8 ohms this we will use later in the question now what how does the inductor limits the current let me discuss that although uh, it's not it's not important to know but it's good to know for this question it's not important to, to know but it's good to know uh, so inductor induces a back EMF which produces a current that opposes the change in existing current it's also called Lenz's law so if there's an inductor and if there is current passing through it it happens only in case of AC current because DC is constant supply so flux will not change and for e EMF to be induced it's a necessary condition that the flux lines should change or the conductor should pass through flux lines right so if these are flux lines and if the conductor is moving through it then the EMF is induced as is the case in generators so how an inductor works is that the, um, is that when let's say this is the most flow of current and if you point your thumb in that direction and you curl your fingers the f flux lines will be out of this page and into this side of the page right so these flux lines will initially be um, weaker as AC current you know uh, is something like this right so it will start from zero go to its peak value again zero in the reverse direction so it changes direction once it takes one direction and in the next pulse it uh, takes another direction comes from the opposite side so when these flux lines increase and if their strength increases it will induce an EMF in this coil or this inductor and the EMF will produce a current and the current is such that it opposes any changes in the original current so if the original current tries to increase and the reason it will try to increase is that the load or the arc lamp will try to draw current uh, the current is determined by the load it tries to draw current and that's why the current increases but this back EMF will limit the current that is going through it right so the back EMF produces a current of its own which will try to oppose the uh, increase in current and it will also oppose the decrease in current so it tries to maintain the current at at a certain level which is not very intuitive and kind of difficult to understand but that's what Lenz's law is and how it happens at a micro level is beyond the scope of the course that you are studying for IITJ so but if you want me to cover it let me know subscribe to my channel if I have enough subscribers I'll make a video on Lenz's law so uh, suffi suffice 
uh, it's sufficient for now to know that uh, this is what is happening so uh, that's what Levinson's law is and then there is a certain impedance of the circuit what is impedance impedance is the overall resistance to flow of current and the overall overall resistance is due to the resistance of the circuit and reactance and the reactance comes from the inductor had there been no inductor we wouldn't have taken the reactance into consideration and reactance is just the resistance to AC current by the inductor so again um, it's just the AC current that that produces reactance so DC current does not produce reactance because DC current is at a steady level so there is no change in flux lines in the inductor right so like I just explained um, AC current produces a changing uh, flux change in flux which induces a back EMF had it been a DC there would be no such thing right so uh, reactance is produced by inductors and capacitors um, but there is no capacitor in the circuit so we'll just consider the inductor and reactance due to inductor is given by this formula XL is equal to 2 pi FL where F is the frequency of the alternating current L is the inductance of the inductor given in Henry's right and what is impedance formula this is impedance formula Z which is the overall resistance due to um, resistance and reactance is given by this formula where this is resistance and this is reactance of the inductor right so let's use the give these two formula and the given information to solve the question it's given that current is 10 amps the new voltage is now 220 volts the resistance we calculated earlier as 8 ohms so we'll use ohms law again v is equal to ir where i is equal to v over r then so this now the new resistance is resistance and reactance so we'll use the formula for impedance which is which takes which takes into consideration both resistance and reactance so that would be resistance is 8 square plus reactance is xl square right right now we don't know the value voltage is 220 volts and uh, current is 10 amps so i've just substituted the values and then you can put this across here right and then this 10 will come here and then you can square both sides so in eventually you will get xl or reactance as square root of 420 right so now i'll use the formula xl or reactance is equal to 2 pi fl so let me use that now 2 pi fl is equal to square root of 420 and since other things are known i can now find the inductance right the inductance uh, of the uh, so, uh, inductor so let me put this 2 pi f to this side and that will give me uh, frequency is given as 50 hertz right so 15 to 2 is 100 and so i have inductance as square root of 420 over 100 pi right and that comes to around 0 0.065 henry's which is option number one so i hope you enjoyed the solution if you did please subscribe to my channel and uh, click on the like button and comment if you didn't understand something or if you want to say something in general thank you for watching my video